Well, congratulations, you made it. <laughs> Please remain standing. I'm pleased to introduce Melissa Barbosa of the class of 2005, who will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Melissa will be accompanied by Sandra Ligren, instructor and coordinator of the American Sign Language Deaf Studies programs, and also by Sally Ribeiro, Elizabeth Langevin, Stacy Travis, Tammy Borden, Nicole Bernier, and Kimberly Bailey, class of 2003 of the Deaf Studies program. They will perform the national anthem in American Sign Language. Thank you. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the rampart we watched were so gallantly streaming. Thank you. On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2003, I am pleased to open the 36th Annual Commencement Exercises of Bristol Community College. Please be seated and I'll introduce the platform guests. <laughs> Okay, to my left, Mr. Barry Robbins, the honored recipient of Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. <laughs> Mr. Richard B. Wolfson, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Carl Cruz, Secretary of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Berrien, Dean of Academic Affairs Designate. To my right, Mr. David Feeney, Executive Dean. <laughs> Stephen Ozog, Dean of Enrollment Services, designate. <laughs> Stephen Kenyon, Dean of Administration and Finance, designate. <laughs> and the Honorable Edward M. Lambert, Jr., Mayor of the City of Fall River. In the second row, Bernice Bowden, Professor of Mathematics and Grand Marshal of the Procession. <laughs> Gerald LePage, Assistant Dean of Mathematics, Science and Engineering. 
Mr. Arthur Paul, member of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Frederick Sullivan, member of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Selma Braga, member of the Board of Trustees. Lisa Pyers, valedictorian and member of the class of 2003. Patricia Zukowski, President, Bristol Community College Alumni Association. <laughs> Rhonda Gabovich, Dean of Institutional Research, Planning and Assessment. Robert Bogan, Member of the Board of Trustees. Claudette Bouchon, Retired Professor of Nursing. Lois Shea, Professor of Nursing. Susan Bozano, Acting Assistant Dean for Developmental Education. Michael Vieira, Acting Assistant Dean for Business and Information Management. <laughs> Kathleen Torpe Garganta, Professor of Dental Hygiene, last lecture presenter, <laughs> class of 1973. Jesse Calderon, Student Senate President, member of the class of 2004. Don Smith, member of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Thomas Murray, member of the Board of Trustees. Jules Reichabush, retired professor of English and Communication. Dr. Alan Powers, professor of English. Ms. Deborah Lawton, assistant dean for Language, Humanities, and the Arts. Dr. Hope Burns, Assistant Dean for Health Sciences. <laughs> Raymond LaVirtue, Assistant Dean for Behavioral and Social Sciences. <laughs> Virginia Horta, Student Trustee and Member of the Class of 2004. <laughs> I would also like to introduce and thank our American Sign Language interpreters, Sandra Ligren and Ms. Carol Fay. It is now my pleasure to introduce the mayor of Fall River, Edward M. Lambert, Jr., and I want to say that uh, he has uh, showed great leadership in supporting Bristol Community College in being a champion for education here in the city and in the surrounding area. Mr. Mayor Lambert. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> President Spriga, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, parents, friends, family, and especially the class of 2003. Congratulations to you. This city of Fall River is very proud to be the home of Bristol Community College. We are very proud of the leadership that President Spraga and his staff have provided. We are very proud of the fine faculty at this institution, which provides the highest quality of education. And we are especially proud of the students and graduates of this institution who today balance mortarboards on their heads and tomorrow balance the responsibilities that come with this degree. <clears throat> you go back to communities and families tomorrow, places that have supported you, and send them a very important message with that degree that you receive here today. You have vastly improved the quality of your own life and opportunities and prospects, but more importantly, you have been a message of inspiration to members of your family and friends and neighbors about the importance of education. The stories of myriad of so many people over the course of 36 graduating classes who have come here to improve their lives, but to send a message about lifelong learning, about the sacrifice necessary for education. My mother's receipt of her diploma here 20 years ago showed to her five sons more than any words that she could speak the importance of education to her life and to ours. Today, to each of the graduates, to your brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, mothers and fathers, you send a message about the importance of going back to school and being lifelong learners. Our community, our region will succeed because of your efforts. There is a great work ethic 
in the people of Fall River in southeastern Massachusetts, which when matched with educational attainment will ensure that the road to success is very bright and wide open for each and every one of us. Thanks for your contributions. Congratulations on this great day. Thank you, Mayor Lambert. I would now like to ask the faculty and professional staff to stand and be recognized by the graduating class, the faculty and staff. Faculty, you have heard me say many times that you are the most important part of this institution. A college is only as good as its faculty. Your creativity informs your teaching. Your enthusiasm for learning infects your students. You teach and you inspire. As Wordsworth so eloquently described it, what we have loved, others will love, and we will teach them how. Thank you. I would like now to pay special tribute to uh, members of the faculty who have rendered many years of devoted service to Bristol Community College and are retiring either now or in the fall. Please stand as I call your name. With 34 years of service to the college, Ms. Bernice Bowden, Professor of Mathematics. With 31 years of service, Dr. Marie Marshall, Program Director and Professor of Nursing. With 20 years of service, Ms. Barbara LaRue, Assistant Professor of Nursing. I would also like to pay special tribute to our Bristol Community College Foundation. These dedicated people have volunteered their time and talent and treasure to provide increasing support annually for scholarships, textbook loans, capital funds, and campus grants for equipment, special projects, and professional development activities. This has been a particularly challenging year for the college, and our foundation has provided invaluable support. Will the members of the foundation board of directors who could be with us today please stand? My thanks also to everyone who has contributed to the work of the foundation. My understanding is that 13% of the students here today are recipients of scholarships or loans made available by our BCC Foundation. Thank you. <laughs> Members of the platform party, my colleagues on the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College, families and friends of the graduates, and especially members of the graduating class of 2003. Congratulations. We are all very proud of you and your considerable accomplishments. You now form part of the intellectual great chain of being that has been forged throughout the ages. Community colleges are commonly referred to as two-year colleges, but I wonder how true that is. How many of you actually completed your degree in just two years? How many of you work full-time or part-time while pursuing your studies here at Bristol Community College? How many of you have children? <laughs> Any grandparents? All right. Any great-grandparents? <laughs> Well, as you can see, it is a misnomer to describe community colleges as two-year institutions. It is also erroneous to use graduation rates as a key indicator to evaluate community colleges. Many of our students come to Bristol Community College with goals other than degree attainment. In addition, approximately 85% of Bristol Community College's uh, students work full or part-time while pursuing their degrees and therefore never intend to uh, do so within a year, two years or three, even three years. Community college students who have the goal of earning a degree or certificate 
and actually do so, irrespective of the amount of time on task, deserve highest praise, not criticism. Instead of overemphasizing the beat the clock time frames, we should rejoice in these considerable accomplishments. Here are wonderful examples of student success. Just imagine their persistence and their dedication. What formidable hurdles, hurdles they had to overcome to attain these goals. Let's celebrate their achievements. No one knowledgeable about the glorious mission of community colleges places great emphasis on graduation rates as a dominant assessment tool. These rates can serve a useful purpose, but only when viewed in, as one item in a vast array of assessment methodologies. But if you have completed your, but if you had completed your two-year degree in this, in this time frame, that meant that your first class at BCC began on Tuesday, September 4th, 2001. One week later, on Tuesday, September 11th, the infamous 9-11, we faced the terrible tragedy that altered the way we view the world. For the rest of our lives, we shall always have that special common bond. But throughout your career here at BCC, you have found what I have found, namely that Bristol Community College is a premier learning institution, a place where students come first, a place full of people dedicated to student success. I'm sure that you would want the opportunity to express your appreciation to the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College on an individual basis, those who have played such a vital role in your success. You will be carrying them and BCC with you the rest of your life. I have paid tribute to the faculty and professional staff here who have promoted your progress, but there is another group to honor today, your family and your friends. They have served as, also as colleagues in learning in providing an indispensable nourishing reservoir of support which helps sustain you through the personal, professional, and academic challenges that you encountered. I'm sure that occasionally you tested the limits of their limitless support. I know, you, I know you agree with me that today is a very appropriate time for you to express your gratitude. To those family members and friends, I want you to know too that BCC, we thank you for supporting our students. Please know that we consider you members of our BCC family. And there is yet another group that rejoices with you and for you, our community, particularly symbolized here today by the presence of Mayor Lambert and the presence of several community leaders. Your education brings great value to our community. As educated citizens able to make informed and ethical choices, you have an important role to play in this society, which in such dire need for people to point the way and uphold our values. But in the end, you are the cause for our celebration. The ultimate responsibility lay with you, and you succeeded admirably. We take great pride in your achievement, and if I could leave you with one thought, it is that your learning must continue throughout your life. The incredibly complex society, this global society in which we live, makes ceaseless demands upon you. Lifelong learning must become a routine process in your lives. Eric Hoffer, the 20th century philosopher, pointed out that in times of change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. No matter what your current level of skill and competency, you must continue this lifelong quest, not only for the noble purpose of learning for its own sake and the quest for truth and the eternal verities, but also in the more immediate terms concerning your ability to earn a living and to live a productive life. For the world continues to change at a rapidly accelerating and dizzying pace. You must keep up for your own good and for that of the society. This commencement day recognizes a great accomplishment. However, please remember that it also marks a great responsibility, that you use your education to practice good citizenship, to promote the general welfare, and to work for social justice. For as together we pursue this heroic purpose, let's keep in mind the words of this Holocaust survivor. I saw gas chambers built by civil engineers, children poisoned by educated physicians, infants killed by trained nurses, 
Women and babies shot and burned by high school and college graduates. I am suspicious of education. Can you see how these moving words describe our larger purpose here? Finally, there is another image that I would like to leave you with as you depart BCC and move into the future. Poet William Butler Yeats wrote, I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. As you move into that future, please carry our banner with great pride. We at BCC are very proud of you and your accomplishments. This great institution has prepared you, not with all the knowledge that you will ever need, but rather with the appreciation of knowledge itself, the learning process, and an understanding of all that remains yet undone. As you move on from Bristol Community College, take with you that understanding and use all that you have been given to make this world a better place. Please know that we always stand ready to provide assistance for you. You have our very best wishes and our warmest congratulations. Good luck. Each year at our commencement exercises, we recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students may graduate cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. To achieve summa cum laude requires a minimum grade point average of 3.8 out of a possible 4.0. This year, a number of graduates have earned a perfect record, a straight A 4.0 average. Will these graduates please stand and remain standing as your name is called? Francis Aguiar, Liberal Arts, Westbourne. <laughs> Jillian Breeze, General Studies, Fall River. Kimberly Capello, Nursing Career, Berkeley. <laughs> Peter Deleuze, Criminal Justice, Fall River. <laughs> Lisa Pyers, General Studies, New Bedford. <laughs> Carolyn Swift, Liberal Arts, New Bedford, Dartmouth. Nicole Wilson, Liberal Arts, Fall River. Congratulations on your extraordinary accomplishment, 4.0. One of those straight-A students is Lisa M. Pyers of New Bedford. Lisa has been selected as class valedictorian. Lisa graduates today with her associate's degree in general studies. Lisa lives in New Bedford and has worked in a number of different social service agencies. Although she had earned an associate's degree earlier in life, she came to Bristol Community College when, after reflection and soul searching through a number of life changes and challenges, she wanted to make a fresh start. She came to BCC and excelled. She is a Commonwealth Honor Scholar and has received the Foster Furcolo Scholarship to the University of Massachusetts, Boston, where she will study psychology. She hopes in the future to teach at the college level. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you the class valedictorian, Lisa Tyre. Lisa Pyre. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to President Sprager, the Board of Trustees, honored guests, the deans, faculty, and staff of the college, the graduates, and all family and friends gathered here today to the 36th annual commencement exercises of the Bristol Community College. I am extremely honored and excited to have been chosen valedictorian this year. It is a privilege to have been selected to represent this outstanding BCC class. It is hard to express the depth of my feelings in regard to this honor, but I do want everyone to know that I am truly grateful and appreciative of all of those who made this possible. It is a pleasure to share my thoughts with you on this special occasion. We are gathered today to celebrate and honor the outstanding achievements and accomplishments of the class of 2003. Graduates,
We have arrived. Our years of hard work, perseverance, and commitment to our personal goals and studies have finally paid off. It is time for celebration as we begin the process of reaping the benefits of our efforts. While here at BCC, we have laid a solid foundation for ourselves, which has prepared us for the future. We've gained new knowledge, acquired marketable skills, and enhanced ourselves both personally and professionally. We are not the same individuals that we were when we made our first visit to the admissions office a few years ago in search of higher education and a better life. Rest assured, whether subtly or profoundly, we have changed. Although we're all here together as one graduation class on this special and momentous day, we've traveled many different paths to arrive at this destination. Even though we've reached the same destination, graduation day, our journeys have been along separate travel routes with our own unique map and compass. Without a doubt, we've navigated through many challenges and obstacles along the way. These roadblocks may have forced us to change our intended plans or alter our course, but we were still able to keep our focus and reach the goals that we had set for ourselves. This is not an easy task, but we succeeded and are here today to celebrate our journeys. This shared experience is what binds us to each other as a whole. Now we must be ready to meet the challenges of our new world outside of BCC. Our global community has changed drastically since 9-11, and we can't ignore this fact. In many ways, we are a world at war with itself. Currently, we have a worldwide climate of heightened fear and separation that has created far too much crises and unrest. There is a healing process that needs to happen so we can all learn to honor and respect each other and our sacred differences. As new graduates, what will we contribute to the world at large? How can we make a difference? These are questions I ask of myself and of you as we stand here awaiting our next mission on our life journey. It is up to us to create change and hopefully we will enrich our new environments with the knowledge we have gained from our studies at BCC. This experience of higher learning has provided us with a significant boost in our self-esteem, our self-confidence, and self-worth, along with a sense of empowerment and personal growth. These valuable assets have prepared us to be the future leaders in our society. We definitely have our work cut out for us and I know we are ready to meet the new challenges before us. We have the potential to affect change in so many different arenas, whether it is in the helping professions, teaching in the arts, technological or business fields. We stand here today with all of the necessary tools to make this a better world. As we prepare to leave BCC, let us not forget the knowledge we've gained from this experience and the new appreciation that we have for the lifelong process that is before us. There is still plenty we have to learn. Our commencement symbolizes the act or time of beginning. May we continue to become better human beings in all areas of our lives as we grow in caring and love for all humankind. I'd like to close by quoting some words from Buddha. The perfume of sandalwood, the scent of rose bay and jasmine, travel as far as the wind. 
but the fragrance of goodness travels with us through all the worlds. Like garlands woven from a heap of flowers, fashion your life as a garland of beautiful deeds. Congratulations, graduates. Good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa Byers, thank you for those inspiring words, Lisa. The President's Award, known as the Mason Shield, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality of service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of the recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. I am pleased to present the President's Award to a member of the class, Charlie C. El Corey. Engineering Transfer of Ton. The Honors Program at Bristol Community College offers qualified students with enhanced opportunities for academic enrichment. The following students have met the graduation requirements of the Commonwealth Honors Program and are recognized today as Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars. Will these graduates please stand and remain standing as your name is called? Angela Amaral, Art Transfer, Graphic Design Transfer, Dartmouth. Thomas Bell, Business Administration Transfer, Westport. <laughs> Federica Cavallaro, Liberal Studies Prep English as a Second Language, Newport. <laughs> Anne Marie Demoranville, De General Studies, Lakeville. <laughs> Beth Ann Donovan, Communications, Fall River. <laughs> Kimberly Fernandez, a, a limit. Elementary Education, Fall River. <laughs> Rebecca Ford, Business Administration Transfer, New Bedford. <laughs> Susan Malomo, Computer Information Systems Programming, East Falmouth. <laughs> Deborah Malone, Computer Information Systems, Fall River. <laughs> Lori Mulcahy, Human Services, Warren. Sophia Molin, Liberal Arts, Mansfield. Andrea Paleologos, Liberal Arts Professional, Dartmouth. Lisa Pyers, General Studies, New Bedford. Brenda Pyers, General Studies, New Bedford. Mary Rodriguez, Liberal Arts, Taunton. Jill Rodriguez, Liberal Arts Professional, Fall River. <laughs> Carolyn Swift, Liberal Arts Humanities, Swansea. <laughs> Britt Zartman, Liberal Arts Math Science, Mattapoisett. <laughs> the Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. The 18th annual Edward Terrell Smith Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Edward Smith, son of Edward and Mabel Smith, and a 1982 graduate of Bristol Community College. It is given each year to a graduating student of high personal integrity and academic standing who is planning to continue his or her education at another college. Bristol Community College is proud to present this scholarship to Anne-Marie DeMoranville, General Studies from Lakeville. She will be transferring to Bryant or to University of Massachusetts. Emily.
I'm also very pleased to recognize a number of graduates who received transfer merit scholarships from a number of area colleges and universities. Would all graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships please stand as I call your name. We offer all of you our heartiest congratulations. To Bridgewater State College, Nicole Wilson, Liberal Arts, Fall River. <laughs> Bryant College, Honors Scholarship, Anne Marie DeMoranville, General Studies, Lakeville. Transfer Dean Scholarship, Steve, Stephanie Gauthier, Liberal Arts, Fall River. Transfer Dean Scholarship, Christine Heron, Business Transfer, Somerset. New England Transfer Association, Carolyn Swift, Liberal Arts, Dartmouth. Lisa A. Pyers, General Studies, New Bedford. Roger Williams University, Jill Krupsawa, Business Transfer, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Melissa Espinal, Liberal Arts, New Bedford. Heather Lewis, Criminal Justice, Somerset. Melissa Oliveira, Liberal Arts, Swansea. George Pont, Business Transfer, Fall River. Joe Rodriguez, Liberal Arts, Fall River. Rhonda Sauret, Communications, Fall River. UMass Scholar. UMass Scholar, Carlin Swift, Liberal Arts, Dartmouth. UMass Amherst, Thomas Bell, Liberal Arts, Westport. UMass Boston Fo Foster, Lisa Pyers, General Studies, New Bedford. UMass Dartmouth, Cheryl Aguiar, Liberal Arts, Dartmouth. <clears throat> Angela Amaral, Art Transfer, Dartmouth. Sherry Barbosa, Art Transfer, New Bedford. Brad Bissett, Art Transfer, Attleboro. Bethany Boyle, Liberal Arts, Taunton. Jillian Brees, General Studies, Fall River. Stephanie Cadero, Liberal Arts, Tiverton, Rhode Island. Anne Marie de Moranville, General Studies, Lakeville. Natalie Estrella, Elementary Education, Fall River. Andrea Paleologos, Liberal Arts, Dartmouth. Karen Sawicki, Liberal Arts, East Freetown. Sophia Molin, Wellesley College. Charlie L. Corey, Worcester Polytech Institute. If there are other graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships to other colleges and universities, please stand at this time. And we want to recognize everyone for your great work. Congratulations. <laughs> I am pleased now to introduce Jesse Calderon, president of the 2002-2003 Bristol Community College Student Senate and a member of the class of 2004, Jesse Calderon. Thank you very much, President Sabrega. It's such an honor to be here to present the last lecture award. Each year, Bristol Community College Student Senate honors one exemplary faculty member who has affected students' education and their lives in significant ways. Nominations requiring detailed information about the educator's role are solicited from the entire student body. This year's recipient, who's described by her students as a teacher who went above and beyond the call of duty to make sure her students were successful, is Professor of Dental Hygiene, Kathy Torpy Garganta. <laughs> Professor Garganta, <laughs> here she is. <laughs> Woo! 30 years ago, I sat out there where you're seated. I graduated from Bristol Community College in Dental Hygiene and I was excited and nervous about the future as you are, and I was definitely proud that I survived dental hygiene. And I was wondering, wow, where are my dreams going? Where am I heading? But you know, Bristol Community College opened up many doors for me. I went to UMass Amherst, and then on to Boston University Graduate School of Dentistry, and then into the world of education and dentistry. I want you to look around at the faces 
the people that you have met. Go ahead, do it. Go look. All right. These are the friends that you will make that will stay with you for life. Because also on this stage is Patricia Wachowski, and she also graduated with me 30 years ago. So life gives you some wonderful kinships that help you succeed. BCC has given you the building blocks for success. And you're gonna leave here, and there are some uncertain times right now, but I know that's not gonna slow you down. Because when you came in as incoming freshmen, a little insecure, maybe not knowing exactly what you wanted to do, you have now achieved a well-educated, critical thinking whose beliefs have changed so much and have been stretched out so that you're new and you're different and you're exciting. And the most wonderful part of my being involved in your educational journey is watching you grow. You're gonna leave here, you are leaving here, with curiosity, with a sense of achievement, and much more confidence. These are gifts, and they continue to continue on and on so that you're thinking differently. You're challenging yourself, and you're continuing to learn more each day. I want you now to take your right hand. Let's see it. Get it up. And I want you to throw it over that shoulder and give yourself a good pat on the back for a job well done. All right. Now when you leave here, I want those shoulders back. I want that head up high, and I want you to strut that pride as you go on out. Because you are awesome. And you should feel that right now. Once you've learned something, a new idea, a way of recognizing that things are done a little differently, a knowledge that no one can ever take away from you, once you've found that better way, you can never go back. But this is the gift of enlightenment, and that's what you're feeling. However, all of this comes with responsibility. As you leave Bristol Community College, the knowledge that you have learned, you have to apply to your life. Go out and vote. Get, thank you. Get involved in community issues. We need you. Stay informed and protect our environment. It is the only thing you have to pass along to your children. I'm also gonna ask you to volunteer because the need out there for your things that you have, the gifts that you can give to people who are less fortunate is just astounding. Keep that active learning going. It is your responsibility. The education and now how you choose to use it will have an economic impact on our entire community. And it's quite likely when you're 30 years older and looking back that you're going to be in careers that haven't even been invented yet. You don't even know what they're going to be. Or you may be in traditional jobs and yet you'll be using technology that I cannot even imagine. Look around again. You are the future. You're our future. And I'm excited at what I see when I look out at you. Oh yeah, there are a few things. I'm not real thrilled with the tattoos or the piercings. <laughs> but you know, I know that's your creative independence. Your generation is far more multitasks than ever before. You know how to build relationships, you need to be challenged, and you are risk takers. You have a sense of adventure. You've been exposed to many more things, both positive and negative, than any other generation in our history. Yet, you hold that joyousness, that spirit to survive, 
and you're feeling that. Feel that sense of pride, capture that emotion, and keep that enthusiasm. Hold on to that. And never forget the graduates, the generations that are going to come after you because they need your support. Be vocal about your education and where you came from. Become an ambassador for BCC. And always, always, take pride in Bristol Community College. It will open up doors that will give you a magnificent life. Thank you for this honor. Thank your friends, thank your relatives, thank your faculty. This year, we are honoring two of our outstanding former faculty members, Claudette Bouchon and Jules Reichabush, for by designating them Professor Emeriti. Faculty peers select these individuals for this honor. This is an honorary title which corresponds to the position last held during active service. It comes from the Latin merere, to merit, and is in recognition of meritorious service. I am pleased to introduce Lois Shea, Professor of Nursing, who will read the citation for Professor Emerita Claudette Bashan. Lois Shea. Claudette, throughout your 30 years of service on the nursing faculty, you demonstrated absolute dedication to teaching and to transforming novices into outstanding nurses. As an expert in psychiatric nursing, you created an innovative community experience for sophomore student nurses that became a model for other nursing programs. You brought your expertise to the development of a course on death and dying, one of the first multidisciplinary courses offered by the college. Your unconditional commitment focused unerringly on providing healthcare services of highest quality to the community. As educator, practitioner, and clinician, you offered your students a role model for excellence that continues to serve them in their own careers. Thank you, Claudette. Thank you very, very much. And I'd like to congratulate the class of 2003. Best wishes, good luck. I'm pleased now to introduce Dr. Alan Powers, Professor of English, who will read the citation for Professor Emeritus Jules Reichabush. Dr. Powers. You were a member of that founding band of visionaries who dreamed about all the wonderful things that a fledgling community college could do for our region and set about laying a foundation for all that we've become. The communications program you created produced countless numbers of media professionals, and the freshman writing program you helped launch inspired many to master the skill of writing. Witty, uh, that's absolutely true, witty and wise, a published poet and writer in your own right, your zeal for literature poetry, the arts, and popular culture led you to bring the world to our campus. And the world took notice when you far, your far-sighted anticipation of the widespread interest in an historic murder case that you may have heard about here in Fall River brought the college international renown. 
Your zest for words, for culture, and for the arts is forever imprinted on the college community. I too want to congratulate the graduates this year and I wish you the very best of luck in the future. You're entering an interesting and strange world. I also want to thank Alan Powers for saying those kind words with a straight face. Thank you. Thank you. This is a, a, a fitting honor, really, for the dedicated and faculty that we have. And, uh, some of you may not have had those two professors, but I assure you that students in past years are very grateful for having been associated with them. I would now like to introduce Mr. Richard Wilson, Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the 2003 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Chairman Wilson. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the Board has selected Mr. Barry Robbins, businessman and philanthropist. Mr. Robbins. The citation reads as follows. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustees hereby names Barry Robbins the 2003 Distinguished Citizen of the Year. Businessman, philanthropist, champion for economic development and citizen extraordinaire, your vision and commitment for the South Coast seek to enhance the quality of life for all of our citizens. As founder and chief officer of Robbins Manufacturing Company, you strive continually to nurture the economic health of our region. In addition, you give freely of your business acumen through your work as a member and former president of the Greater Fall River Development Corporation, where you help engineer business development, attract new businesses, and expand existing ones. As chairman of the board for the Grimshaw Goodwits Charitable Foundation, you've arranged significant financial support for such organizations as the museum, the Marine Museum, the USS Massachusetts Memorial, and Bristol Community College. Your tested and true business and management skills triumphed when, as chairman of the board of South Coast Health Systems, you guided the merger between Charlton Memorial Hospital, St. Luke's Hospital, and Toby Hospital. The result was a more effective, more powerful healthcare system which is renowned throughout the nation. You also played an instrumental role in the effort to bring open heart surgery to our region and to build the Heart Surgery Center at Charlton. Your civic concern and commitment to the South Coast region provide each of us with a powerful example of what one concerned citizen can accomplish. Given this 31st day of May 2003 at Fall River, Massachusetts, signed John J. Sprague of President, Richard Wolfson Chair of the Board of Trustees. Thank you. I'm honored and, and pleased, and all I can say is best of luck to the graduates of 2003. I now again present Chairman Richard Wolfson of the Board of Trustees to authorize the conferral of degrees.
members of the class of 2003, I'm delighted to have this opportunity to greet you and congratulate you on this most important day in your lives. Your hard work and dedication have brought you to a point where new doors are open to you, whether it's a job, a career improvement, a new career track, or a transfer to continue your academic pursuits. You've been supported by an outstanding faculty, a devoted staff here at BCC, friends, family, and fellow students. But it's your effort and your persistence that has brought you to this day. May you always enjoy success and happiness. As chair of the board of Bristol Community College, Board of Trustees, I'm honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers invested in the board by Section 10, Chapter 15A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth to award the Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science degrees and appropriate certificates to those candidates who in the judgment of the college have successfully met the requirements for graduation. And now, Dean of Academic Affairs designate, Stephen Bryant Varian, will present the candidates. Would the candidates for graduation please rise? I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees today have completed all the requirements for each degree or certificate as set forth by the college and the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dean Berrien. It is now time to award the degrees. <laughs> Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage? The rest of the candidates may be seated. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. We ask family and friends please to move away from the front of the stage to keep the way clear for our graduates and other members of the audience. A professional photographer will capture the graduate as he or she crosses the stage and we will all be available in the Commonwealth College Center for photos after the ceremony. Please withhold your applause until all the degrees and certificates have been awarded. I don't know why we bother saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Berrien. I am pleased to announce graduates of art transfer. Angela N. Amaral, summa cum laude. Sherry Barbosa, Magna Cum Laude, Art Transfer, and Graphic Design Certificate of Achievement. Brad S. Bassett, Magna Cum Laude, Art Transfer, and Graphic Design Certificate. Eric Claven. Andrew L. Javier. Megan Grace Malinsky. Lori Raposa. Heidi Ann Sherman. Tracy L. Vieira. I am pleased to announce graduates of Business Administration Career. Jeffrey J. Alvis. Sarah Aruda. 
Sherry Lynn Barraby. Catherine L. Betancourt. Kelly M. Cabral. Marie J. Cabral, cum laude, business administration career and small business certificate. Catherine de la Cruz. Mandy Lee de Jesus. Stella Ann DeSantis. Ryan R. DeRoche. Sandra G. Flattery. Ronald J. Fonts, magna cum laude. Rebecca L. Ford. Alda M. Furtado. Casey J. Gallipo. Dana Marie Garrick. Kara Goldrick. Sonia S. Haskin. Allison C. Heck. Vanessa Adele James. Juana Jones. Linda R. Lamb Brito. Jessica Marie Letourneau. Jacqueline A. McCooch. Brian J. Moniz. Suzanne M. O'Quinn. Patricia A. Nanini. Michelle Marie Parker. Diane M. Resendez, cum laude. Nicole D. Richmond, magna cum laude. Jessica Rosa, cum laude. Jessica L. Roussel. Alan Carl Sakel, summa cum laude. Cheryl Ann Tate. Gloria Torres. Paula May Travers, magna cum laude. Lisa A. Ward. John Wheeler. Pleased to announce graduates of Business Administration Transfer. Melissa A. Ammon, magna cum laude. Susan E. Amaral, magna cum laude. Susan L. Benfeto, summa cum laude. Michael A. Billado, cum laude. Elizabeth Barton, Chris Tilf, Magna Cum Laude. Gabriel Dion. Matthew J. Earl, Summa Cum Laude. Susan Gomes. Christine Hope Heron. Melissa A. King. Kevin A. Lazaro. David Thomas Lucraft. Wellington Magalis. George Medeiros. 
Victoria Marie Mendonca. Rosa M. Pavo. Nuno Pereira. Lindsay Beth Stays. Melissa L. Bins, Magna Cum Laude. Timothy David Whitehead. I am pleased to announce graduates of child care, Jessica Medeiros. Carrie Lee B. Olson. Jennifer Lynn Sanborn. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Clinical Laboratory Science, Linda R. Almeida. Monique E. Loisel. Melissa L. Souza. Michelle Souza. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Communications, Shandara Choate, Beth Ann Donovan, Rhonda Marie Surrett, I am pleased to announce graduates of Computer Information Systems, Melinda B. Amaral. Sylvia R. Amarin, Computer Information Systems and Electronic Multimedia Certificate. Kenneth A. Archambault, summa cum laude. Jody Ray Aruda Jones, summa cum laude. Brandy A. Bishop, cum laude. Craig L. Budria, cum laude. Jonathan Davey, summa cum laude. Heather Caroline Farias, magna cum laude. Kevin Charles Fletcher, summa cum laude. Sean Fontaine. Kristen Ann Furtado, magna cum laude. Ryan C. Green. Raymond Michael Jacome, cum laude. Christine Laboulier, cum laude. Deborah Malone, magna cum laude. John Montill. Tracy Pina. Jose Luis Vieira, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce graduates of criminal justice. John Rodriguez Barbosa, Jr., magna cum laude. Michael Barcelos. Sarah J. Blaze. Suzanne A. Bassano. Jonathan Michael Boyd. Jacqueline D. Burgo. Melinda Costa. Peter J. Deleuze, summa cum laude. Lindsay Ann DeRosha. Angela M. DeRosa. Stephanie Marie Elizardo, cum laude. David F. Enos, Jr. Tanya Furtado. Mike Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Matthew R.P. Hershey, magna cum laude. 
Henry J. Carroll, cum laude. Heather Dawn Lewis, cum laude. Tom T. Lee. Mark James McGlynn, summa cum laude. Nicholas A. Malinsky, Jr., cum laude. Erin Elizabeth Murphy, Magna Cum Laude. Joshua Joseph Piva. Leo L. Pike, Jr., Cum Laude. David Paul Santos, Cum Laude. Kareen J. Senna, Magna Cum Laude. Shauna Maria Silva. Angela Jean Therian, cum laude, criminal justice and thanatology certificate. I am pleased to announce graduates of culinary arts, Joseba Baratabena. Frank O. Braginton III. Jason Allen Joshua Carrera. Sandra Fontaine, cum laude. Karen N. Goodspeed, summa cum laude. Verity L. Gossett, magna cum laude. Karen Elizabeth Johnson. Stephanie Lynn Millerick, culinary arts and general studies. Paula C. Pereira, summa cum laude. Lauren Ann Tanzi. I am pleased to announce graduates of Deaf Studies. April M. Alves, magna cum laude, Deaf Studies in American Sign Language. Stacy Lynn Travis, magna cum laude, Deaf Studies, American Sign Language. Kimberly Ann Bailey. Nicole M. Bernier, cum laude. Tanya Marie Borden. Elizabeth A. Langevin, magna cum laude. Sally Ann Ribeiro, summa cum laude. I'm pleased to announce graduates of dental hygiene. Melissa Ann Child, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Schwenard, summa cum laude. Jane Ann Coach, magna cum laude. Melanie E. Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Kathy Jean Grinham, summa cum laude. Christine M. Hancock, magna cum laude. Kelly Ann Holland, cum laude. Tracy Lynn Jurowicz, cum laude. Erica M. Medeiros, magna cum laude. Saitel S. Patel, summa cum laude. Cheryl Ann Pellisier, summa cum laude. Marie Deleuze Source. Michelle Marie Sturdivant, cum laude. Lorraine Fuller Thomas, summa cum laude. Lacey Williams, magna cum laude. I'm pleased to announce graduates of early childhood education. Patricia Flanagan, summa cum laude. Jennifer Ann Willette, cum laude. Nicole Marie Perry. 
Shauna Marie Pruden, early child. Brianne E. Stinson, Kabaya. I'm pleased to announce graduates of electronic engineering. David Michael Ward, Magna Kabaya. I'm pleased to announce graduates of elementary education. Kimberly Patricia Allery. Julianne Brune, cum laude. Susan L. Bouchard, magna cum laude. Joseph S. Bousquet, Sr. Rebecca E. Bugger. Meredith L. Kniff. Marie Co. Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Ann D'Souza Cum Laude. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Dosbias. <laughs> Tessa B. Edwardson. <laughs> Natalie Estrella Summa Cum Laude. Kimberly Fernandez, Magna Cum Laude. Beatrice Ferreira, Magna Cum Laude. Kenneth Paul Gonzalez, Jr. Jessica McCarran, Cum Laude. Rebecca L. Messier, Macaron, Cum Laude. Kevin Martineau. Rebecca L. Misha. Suzanne Denise Turgeon Modlowski. Nancy Mont Cum Laude. Crystal L. O'Hara. Christine Owens. Staria K. Schenk Cum Laude. Courtney Lee Souls. Christina Marie Souza. Katie Lee Souza. Diane M. Sylvia. Diana. Cum laude. Cum laude. Tarsha Lee Vega. Cum laude. Dorothy D. Wilkins. Claire McGee Dupu. Mohammed Sayed El Ramley. Carly Fernandez Magna Cum Laude. David B. Jewett. These are now in engineering technology, by the way. Heather J. Landerville, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Inigo Loyola, Magna Cum Laude. Joseph A. Messaline, Jr., Summa Cum Laude. Taylor Russell Michonne, Magna Cum Laude. Kevin Christopher Noguera, Magna Cum Laude. Emmanuel Pyla. How are you? Raymond T. Phillips, Magna Cum Laude. David Lance Strange. George Tutel. April Ann Velas, Cum Laude. Pleased to announce graduates of engineering transfer, James M. Barber, Barbaria, summa cum laude. Donna M. Cosme. Charlie C. El Corey, magna cum laude. 
Rakesh K. Kapoor, cum laude. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Fire Science Technology. Michael F. Arruda, Fire Science Tech and Fire Prevention Specialist. Thomas R. Gautier. John W. Gonzalez. Mark A. Pacheco, come out. Jason Tremblay. I am pleased to announce graduates of general studies. Pamela J. Yanktel, magna cum laude. Diane L. Barbosa, summa cum laude, general studies and thanatology certificate. Joanne M. Barrett, summa cum laude. Julie L. Schwinnard. Ryan e. Ryan e. Cochran. Anne Marie Krebs. Jennifer C. Cryer. Anne Marie de Moranville, summa cum laude. Charlene M. Devine, magna cum laude. Carrie M. Evans, cum laude. Sarah Catherine Green. Deborah J. K. Horton. Adam John Iverson. John M. Laver. Kelly A. Levesque, General Studies and Thanatology Certificate. Kendra Ray Manzoni. Jennifer L. McCoy Haley Cum Laude. Linda M. Miller, Summa Cum Laude. Edward John Niccolo, cum laude, General Studies and Thanatology Certificate. Megan Lynn Pereira. Nicole Perry, cum laude. Brenda Pyatt, magna cum laude. Lisa Pyre, Summa Cum Laude, General Studies and Thanatology Certificate. <laughs> Rita Podlovitsky, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Elaine Rodriguez. <laughs> Joanne J. Santer. <laughs> Jennifer Sheeran, Cum Laude. Alexandra E. Silva, cum laude. Frances Elizabeth Sokol. <laughs> Heidi L. Souza, magna cum laude. Robert White. Francis J. Whitworth, Jr., cum laude. Pleased to announce graduates of Healthcare Information, Suzanne Desmaris, Healthcare Information and General Studies. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Human Services. I need your card. Okay. Manuel J. Andrews, Magna Cum Laude. Lori Marie Sharif. Vivian Ann Cruz, Magna Cum Laude. Assumption Mary Fernandez. Laura Marie Hanafi, Cum Laude, Human Services and Thanatology Certificate. David Henriquez, Cum Laude. Mason L. Jenkins, Cum Laude.
Linda Joy Freeman, come out. Melanie Fragosa. Amy Lawrence. Admiral Alfred Manica, summa cum laude. Kimberly Marchand. Laurie A. Mulcahy, summa cum laude. Julianne Marie Oliver. Rachel A. Parandellis, magna cum laude. Erica Jean Pinnell. Isabel Christine Saltar. Brenda J. Souza Magna Kumai. Jennifer Strong Magna Kumai Human Services and Thanatology Certificate. Barry Sumner. Theodore L. Toll, come out. Deborah Valcord Messier. Donna J. Viveros, Magna Cum Laude. Nathan S. Wild, Summa Cum Laude. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Abraham H. Abuzed. Summa cum laude. Cheryl A. Aguiar, summa cum laude. Francis Aguiar, summa cum laude. Jamila Ahmed, cum laude. Kareen S. Almeida, cum laude. Sandra Marie Alpem, magna cum laude. Adelisa Rose Arrigo. Paul James Baker. Shauna Lee Barbosa. Magna Cum Laude. Carolyn W. Bogle, Magna Cum Laude. Joanna Lynn Boucher, Magna Cum Laude. Bethany R. Boyle, summa cum laude. Kara Marie Burba. Raina V. Camacho. Robert Patrick Carter. Laura P. Coleman, cum laude. Stephanie Cordero, magna cum laude. Rebecca L. Curran. Sally M. Dorosa, cum laude. Selena de Silvera. <laughs> Douglas Henry de Grasse, summa cum laude. Roxy Lee Duart, cum laude. Jill Nina Fuller, cum laude. Stephanie A. Gauthier, cum laude. Patrick Sean Golden, magna cum laude. Jana Poole. Michael A. Greco, cum laude. Heather L. Harvey. Adam Curtis Lawrence. Patricia Ann Leet. Lisa M. Loro. Sarah Mahoney, cum laude. Paul Madison, good guy. Katie Meinholt, magna cum laude. 
Sophie Bolin, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Bethany Ann Miles. <laughs> Jeff Nichols. <laughs> Lisa M. Nuno, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Sandra M. Nuno, Magna Cum Laude. Melissa Lynn Oliveira Cum Laude, Liberal Arts and Thanatology Certificate. <laughs> Olivia Martisa Sorsini. Andrea Noel Paleologos, Magna Cum Laude. Damar <laughs> Pau. Stacy Michelle Paradis, Magna Cum Laude. Christine Lee Raposo. Joanne Roberts, Summa Cum Laude. Jill Rodriguez, Summa Cum Laude. Antone Rogers, Cum Laude. Karen R. Sawicki, Summa Cum Laude. Holly Susan Silva, Magna Cum Laude. Jane Snow. Hilary Dawn Sweeney, Magna Cum Laude. Carolyn A. Swift, Summa Cum Laude. Nicole Lynn Wilson, Summa Cum Laude. Christine M. Van Cour. Wanda Westgate. <laughs> Bethany Ann Winters, Summa Cum Laude. Britt G. Zartman, Cum Laude. I am pleased to announce graduates of nursing. Kimberly Ann Alfreda. Susan Alvin. Cheryl Ann Benavides. Christine Ann Bergara Kuma. Kimberly M. Capello Summa Kumada. Paula Charette. Stephanie Cordero, Magna Cum Laude. Tracy Lynn Dennison, Cum Laude. Odette M. Durden. Nicole Ann Fields. Marie DeFanima Lavendina. Jennifer Freitas. Tracy A. Furtado. Rebecca J. Haskell. <laughs> Judith A. Heaven. Oksana Karat. Nilsa Marie LaForge. Crystal Ann Medeiros, Magna Cum Laude. Donna J. Medeiros, Cum Laude. Susan Catherine Mitchell, Magna Cum Laude. Jane Willett, Cum Laude. Karen Pariso. Katja Pimentel. Teresa Renee Pamandon. Cum Laude. Sharon Louise Rochars, Magna Cum Laude. Andrea L. Messier Santo, Cum Laude. Erica L. Sariva Lino. 
Shannon J. Sylvia. Shonda Thibodeau. Doreen Vertentes. Sandra Vieira. John D. Wethington. Patty Ann Wilkinson. Charlene Marie Woods. Melissa Lynn Zikowitz. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Occupational Therapy Assistant. Rebecca Duree. I am pleased to announce graduates of Office Administration. Monica Antunes. Merrill Lynn Austin. Katie L. Benoit. Debbie Pimentel Marquez, magna cum laude office administration and office administration certificate. Christopher M. Pixota, cum laude. Sarah L. Woodruff, cum laude office administration, medical coding certificate and medical transcription. I am pleased to announce graduates of legal administrative assistance certificate. Anishka Chark. Rachel Lee Sands. I am pleased to announce graduates of Medical Assisting Certificate. Norma I. Acevedo. Beverly N. Gallego. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Medical Coding, Medical Billing Certificate. Janine M. Langevin. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Medical Office Certificate. Sharon L. Cabral. Caroline M. Dres. Michelle Hurley. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Medical Transcription Certificate. Teresa E. Woodhouse. Catherine Ann Charette, Medical Transcription Certificate and Medical Office Certificate. Mary Ann Doswa, Medical Transcription Certificate and Medical Office Certificate. Pamela Pond. Lorette A. Spillane. I am pleased to announce graduates of Retail Management Certificate, Helene Enjevic. I am pleased to announce graduates of Thanatology Certificate, Kathleen S. Dwyer. Lori A. Enos. Henry Boche. Holt, sorry. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Therapeutic Massage Certificate. Jessica Marie Howes. Christy L. Roussel. I'm pleased to announce graduates of Electronic Multimedia Communications Certificates. Maurice Steven. Multimedia Communications and Electronic Multimedia Certificate.
That's wonderful. Thank you. You know, traditionally, institutions at this point call for a formal movement of the tassel from left to right or from right to left. But in fact, there is no such rule in academia, which is hard to believe because we live for things like that. Um, so it really doesn't make much difference whether it's on the right or the left. Um, otherwise, as some, someone observed, a gust of wind could change your academic standing in a moment if it just blew over. So it really does. You may hear that it's important to be on the right or the left, but uh, you have it on the authority of our BCC Librarian Reference Association that it uh, doesn't matter which side it's on. Today, as you graduate from Bristol Community College, you become members of an active and esteemed organization, the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Here to welcome you as full members of the association is Patricia Zukowski, class of 1973, president of the BCC Alumni Association. Patricia Zukowski. Thank you, Dr. Sprague. As president of the Bristol Community College Alumni Association, I am pleased to be here to say congratulations. I am honored to extend best wishes from the 22,000 alumni who have preceded you. Sit back, you've earned your degree. Take a deep breath. Look around, you did it. This is your day, a day to celebrate your accomplishments while at BCC. Celebrate with your family and friends and us, your BCC family. Look to the future with your eyes wide open and your hopes and dreams in hand. Reflect on your education here with a smile. Let the world know that you are a BCC grad. Remember, as new ambassadors, to encourage others to attend Bristol Community College. And as you achieve your future goals, save a little time for your alma mater. Which, I'm sorry, save a little time for your madam, alma mater, for without you, we will not be able to continue our alumni mission which is to provide services and assistance to all alumni at whatever time you need it. And we wish to allow you educational, cultural, and fundraising activities. Please stay in touch with us. Let us know how you're doing both personally and professionally. We will share your success in our BCC newsletter briefings. Finally, I am pleased to acknowledge and to thank you for your first gift to our alma mater. Through your class gift, and currently we have collected $1,000, but we are looking forward to accepting more. We are going to allow your gift to provide purchases for the new student lounge. So again, thank you and welcome to the BCC Alumni Association. I would like to take this time to honor the families of the graduates for the support they have given to our graduates. Would the graduates please rise and give recognition to your families and friends who have supported you. <laughs> Please remember that as you walk into the future, you tread on our dreams. Walk softly. Before we have the recessional, I want to invite you to join us for a reception in the Commonwealth College Center. Please remain standing until the recessional is complete and all graduates have left the tent. Also, we have an exhibit in the art gallery that you're invited to that will be open until four o'clock. I now declare close to these proceedings of the 36th annual commencement exercises. <laughs>